what is up guys welcome to your 24th objective sheet tutorial and now that we already built the interface we can go ahead and implement this interface and what implement means of course is we already have the methods built now we just can give them instructions on what to do so let's go ahead and scroll down and as you can see we already dealt with person.h and this was the interface so now go ahead to switch person.m and this is the implementation actually before I even do that go ahead to person.h and copy all of your declarations and these can be substituted for the method headers so now when I'm in person.m um, it'll make it a lot easier so go ahead and in another thing I want to take note of notice that whenever you put like import something before we had this little less than greater than sign like import foundation foundation dot h well this time we have quotation marks so what is the difference between less than and greater sign less than or greater than in quotation marks quotation marks means it's a local fire file not fire that would just be dangerous and that means that it's in the same directory like right here so in case you guys uh, were just wondering wondering I cannot talk tonight I apologize guys I'm really not that sorry but uh, you know it sounds nice to apologize for some random things <sighs> listen to me ramble on and anyways now that we got all those declarations we can go ahead and paste those babies right here delete all the semicolons and tighten this up a tidbit that's what she said and now we got our method headers right now so we can go ahead and with the headers just go ahead and add bodies and we'll be good so for print, and by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not going over these, um, I already did all of these in tutorial like six or something. So if you want to know why I'm doing this, um, go check out that tutorial. But for now, I'm just showing you guys how to move stuff for different files. And at the end, I'm going to put it all together. But anyways, ns log for the print statement and at, and I think it said something like I am percent I years old and way that's a little bit better percent i pounds good enough and then of course you need to pass in age and weight and hopefully i don't got any errors and for set age uh... the method body for this let me scroll down so you guys can see is real easy age is equal to whatever you passed in a and for set weight, it's even easier. Your weight variable is equal to what you passed in for W. So let me go ahead and review this. Make sure I didn't mess up anything too bad. Looks good. If we have any errors, we'll see them later on. Might want to. There we go. So, anyways, now that we have the interface and implementation, we can go ahead and start working on our main method now by default I didn't change anything it gives you this nice little hello world statement I mean that is great and all but we really don't need it now before we even start typing code in here what we need to do is we need to import the interface and if you remember the interface was person.h and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second so go ahead and import um, that is going to be double quotations person dot h right like there and as you can see this is what I was talking about with two different types of import one with a less than and greater than sign this means that it isn't a local file and this one person h that means that this is in the same directory or folder so let's go ahead and now that we got that taken care of and make sure your interface is imported we can go ahead and start building an object and again I'm just gonna build it I'm not gonna talk you guys through because I already did in like tutorial 7 or something so person um, it's a pointer. I'm going to name mine Bucky. And what you need to do is set this equal to bracket. Oops, wrong brackets. Brackets within brackets. And go ahead and put person allocate memory and initialize the object. So now we have an object called Bucky. We can begin calling stuff onto it. I'm just going to go ahead. Let's see. One, two, three, four, two three four I like to get all my annoying stuff out of the way and then I can type in the meat so first we want to take this person called Bucky and set 
age and set it equal to 23 because that's my age and then we want to take Bucky and set oh, wait oh I just had like a peanut or something in my mouth is gross and set my weight equal to 350 because that's my weight and now we want to call the method Bucky print good enough and after we're done with all that release the memory my son so let's go ahead and run this and see what we messed up on again we're gonna save everything because they're all in the same directory and succeeded what the heck how come I succeeded we must have done something wrong that's a joke by the way that means everything worked out so now it said I am 23 years old and weigh 350 pounds cool cool beans cool beans so that in essence is how instead of one big file which can kinda of get confusing you make three separate files an interface an implementation in the main and you can bring those all together in your main by creating an object named Bucky um, setting an age setting a weight using the print method and then once you're done releasing it and in essence that's just what I'm saying this is how you use different files one for each, I don't know, kind of part of your class. One for the interface, one for the implementation, and one for your main method. And that is how everyone programs in Objective C. So, can you put it all in one file? Yes. But when you're building huge computer programs, it is very, very, very complicated. So, this is the way we're going to be programming from now on. So, that is why you need to learn it. And if you don't quite grasp it yet, I promise once I uh, start going through the different and actually building, you know, you'll get it eventually. That's what I'm trying to say. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my blog too if you got some time. So thanks again and I'll see you later.